Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Guardian of the Wild, bringing you the best conservation news from along the Wasash Front. I'm Leandro Linus. Further developments on the vineyard chemical spill which left a visiting college student in the hospital. Officials confirmed today that the spill is not related to the nearby EPA Superfund site on Geneva Road, putting to rest concerns of contaminated groundwater in the growing residential zone. No further leads have been announced, but following a tip from Dr. Gabriel Silva, Guardian of the Wild interviewed Isaiah Snow, plant manager of the local Schmiegen Chocolate Factory. He had this to say. This is Snow. Hello, Mr. Snow. Schmiegen Corporation? Uh, yes. Who is this? My name is Leandro Linus. I'm with Guardian of the Wild. With who? Guardian of the Wild, environmental news organization. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions about the recent chemical spill that put that poor girl in the hospital. Oh. Uh, I'm kind of busy at the moment. It'll only take a few minutes. Uh, okay. Does Schmiegen have any knowledge of the spill? Uh, I... I haven't received any reports on the spill, no. But Schmiegen does use lithium chloride in your manufacturing process, correct? Yes. So your company puts toxic chemicals into its chocolate? What? No! We use lithium chloride in our humidity control system. None of it comes into contact with our candy. And where does it go after you're done with it? We license a professional disposal company to take it off-site and process it safely. I don't know the details. Please excuse me. I need to get to work if this plant is going to make any profit this year. One last question, Mr. Snow. Did the spill originate from your facility? I couldn't tell you. No more questions, please. Looks like Dr. Silva was right. Defensive, evasive, Snow all but admitted that his company was responsible. Authorities have yet to investigate Schmiegen Corporation, but it's only a matter of time. And when they do, watch out, Schmiegen. You're going to get what's coming to you. Next up, Native Americans in southern Utah have formally requested the creation of Bears Ears National Monument. But can the monument be established before looting and grave robbing strip the region of its archaeological treasures? More on that after the break. 